It's another Mate here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time, we're going to talk about whether representations are is it a function or not function. Now, function is a special type of relation in which each of your element or component of your domain is paired to exactly one element or component of your range. And let us try to examine this representation. This representation is in terms of mapping or diagramming. We will be examining whether the following representations are or the following representation is function or not function. So how would we know whether this is function or not? So let's try the first example here. We have the domain with negative 1, 2, 5, and 11. And the range, we have negative 6, 2, 10, and 13. So as you can see, there is now a connector or lines attached or connecting your domain and the range. So how would we know whether it's function or not? Now you are to check only or to focus yourself on the domain only because our main concern when we are dealing with function or not function is only the domain so that you will be not confused later on because if you're considering the range later on as we try to examine each of your diagramming or mapping then you will be in a lot of trouble so advice is focus on the domain so we'll start with the domain here. Now what to consider? First, you need to check that each of your members there have connectors. Meaning to say, each of your element there is connected with a line. So if there is an element that is not connected with a line, automatic that becomes not function. And next one is you are to count also the number of lines or connectors attached to each of the domain or the elements of your domain. It must be that it is only with one line. So I hope that's clear. First, you are going to check whether all of your elements are connected. Next one, you count the number of connectors or lines if that is only one. So that you'll consider that one as function. So let's start with this one. Your negative one is only at or is only with a connector or a line which is only one. So this is connected to our two as an element of the range. So that is okay. Next we have the number two on your domain. If you try to count on the number of lines connected to the number two there, we've got one we've got two so there are two lines connected to your number two so that would simply mean that this diagramming or mapping this is not function already so i hope that's clear everybody it's not function because of this element of your domain that has two lines attached on it one we go for this example now examining, you've got two here, it's with a connector or a line attached to it, and then we only have one, so that's good. We go for the second one, we have the number five, and we've got one line attached to it, that is also good. Now for seven, this is with only one line as well, so that's good. And then we've got nine with only one line, so that means to say that we are good. We have this one as function. You might be asking, what about the 9 on the range? Now again, we have to focus on the domain. Do not look at other things. Focus on the domain. Because if you try to write it in an ordered pair, because when you say domain and range, they are um, paired or each of your elements there are paired with one another. So we can write that one into ordered pairs. So we start with um, 2 connected to your 5. And then next one is 5. This is connected to your 2. And then we have 7 connected to your 5. And then of course we have the next one which is 9. That is connected to 7. So we don't have any input for that 9 in there. So that means to say 
this is still a function if you s if you try to look at each of your x values there nothing is repeated so that is still a function next example is we have there the input which is only one so we have eight here which is paired to all of your output so this would simply mean that this is not function anymore okay because as i mentioned you are going to check if your element or member of your input or domain is connected with a line yes they are but the problem is it's not only one it has more than one so you have there one two three four there are four lines connected to your input so that makes it not function Okay, next example here, we have your domain and the range. So we have under domain, we have the elements 2, 5, 7, 9, and for the range, we have only 1, which is 8. So again, we are going to concern ourselves with our domain. So we will be looking at 2 here and checking if there is a line connected to it, and there is. Now, next one is for you to count how many lines are attached to that number 2. We've got only 1, so we are good. Next, we go to 5 and check if there is a connector or line. Yes, there is, and it's only 1, so we are good. Next, we go for 7. There is a line connecting to it, and of course, we have one line attached to it. Next, we go for 9. We've got line and then we have one line attached to it. So that means this is function. So regardless of whatever is your look on your range, you don't really mind. So let's go for the next one. Next one is we have again the domain here with 2579. Now checking up on each of the element, we start with 2. 2 is with a connector and of course that's only 1, so we're good. Next, we go to 5. Now, for 5, we don't have any line attached to it. So, that makes it a no-no. So, that is why this is not function. Because it must be that each of your element is with a connector. Because if you've got an input, take note, domain or the x values are your input. So, if there is an input in, input in function, then automatic you've got an output for that one. So, I hope that's clear everyone. So, next one we go for this one. So, if you try to look at 2579, we've got here um, each of the elements are with connectors and each of the element is with one connector. So, that means this is function. So I hope that's clear, everyone, and I hope you learned something from me. Once again, this is your teacher, Jenny, saying good luck in every challenges in your life. And take note, every problem has its solution, everybody. So you have to, um, you have to be strong and you have to um, go for any challenges in your life. So once again, this is teacher, Jenny, saying Good luck and goodbye. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment if you have something for me to work on on the next video. Thank you.